I had an art teacher tell me one time there was no color purple. There was only violet. Well, tell that to Oprah. Okay, in addition to creating lines and shapes with the pen tool, you can use the pen tools feature of add anchor point and deleting anchor point to modify shapes that you create with the shape tool. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create a brand new shape from an existing basic shape with the pen tool. Hello creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. Now quick tip videos are made to focus in like a laser beam on that one thing that you've been trying to learn in a program. This way you don't have to wade through long tutorials to get to that nugget, that one thing that you've been struggling with. Or maybe you'll file it away in the back of your mind to use it in the future. Nice. You're welcome. So to begin with, we'll start by creating a basic shape with the rectangle tool. You'll see that rectangle is one of the options. Next, you'll click down and drag out a shape, adding in your shift key to make it a perfect square. Now that I have a shape, I can come up here to my fill and stroke and make sure that it has no stroke and a fill that's different than white, just so it pops out on my screen here. I'll make it purple. I had an art teacher tell me one time there was no color purple. There was only violet. Well, tell that to Oprah. Okay, now you can see my shape here on my screen. Come to the direct select tool or the white arrow in your toolbar. With the direct selection tool now, try to select your object by clicking on any one of its sides. When you do that, you can see that it changes the points to be a hollow white point. Once you have a hollow white point, you can take your pen tools, delete anchor point tool, and click right on that point. So when you do that, voila, it changed your square to a triangle. It's just that easy. Now there are other ways of creating a triangle shape in Illustrator, but that's how you can delete a point from a basic shape to create another shape. Let's show this another way. Once again, I'll take my rectangle tool, holding down the shift, I'll make a square. I'll take my regular selection tool, or V on your keyboard if you like it, and just move it down just a little bit so that I have access to the top of the square. Now with it selected, I'm gonna take my pen tools add anchor point tool, or the little pen plus if you like it, and try to click on the top edge to select that line. Now if you are not zoomed in enough and you're not hitting the shape, it'll be frustrating because you'll just add a point arbitrarily somewhere else. And you'll get this error message saying, please use the add anchor point tool on a segment of a path because this is a path or a line and you're adding to its path. If you have the regular pen tool and you just click down one time, it'll think you're creating a shape. So I'll delete that. When you're here, on a segment, if you're having difficulty, you can always zoom in with Command or Control Plus to zoom in on your object. And another trick is if you hit Command or Control Y or View Outline. Now you should clearly be able to see the edge of that segment in order to click down one time and add that point. See here with my Delete Anchor Point tool, I could delete that previous point that I had put, dropped in. So if I Double click my hand, bring it on back. I now can select this point with the direct selection tool to show you that it in fact is an additional point. So in this way, I converted a square into a house, if you will, or a pencil point. Here, I'll bring it back to preview mode with Command or Control Y. If your point up here is not in the dead center of your object's center point, and you want to create it more precisely, here's what you could do. Once again, I'll go ahead and delete out that point. By the way, in your pen tool here, it tells you that there are shortcuts to get between the add anchor point and delete anchor point when you're in that pen tool that you can get to with the letter P. Also, you can tear out this pen tool 
and bring it over to the subject that you're working on for easy access. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. When you have the object selected, you can see that it will naturally show the dead center of your paths and your shapes there with the belly button or center point of that object. On your keyboard now, if you hit Command or Control R to show your rulers, you'll see that down the left hand side and the top of your screen, you now will have rulers. You can click in your rulers to drag out a guide and try to hit the center part of that point, right? Whether that's in the center of the object or the bounding box. So now that you have a guide in, by default, if you right click on your artboard anywhere to deselect your object and from the contextual menu that pops up, choose lock guides. Why well, now you can select the object and you won't move this guide. Now, if I have this object selected and with my add anchor point tool, I can add that point on the guide. Again, feel free to zoom in with command or control plus. I can add that anchor point on that path using the guide. When I click down one time, now that point is in the center of my object. So when I back out with command or control minus, go ahead and close up my pen sub menu there. Now, when I choose the direct selection tool, I can select this one point, holding the shift key, bringing it straight up. Now that point is in the dead center of this object. And so the house or pencil point, if you will, is equal on this side and that side. I can right click on my artboard and hide the guides. Voila, I've taken a square and made it into a house, all by creating a basic shape and using the pen tool to either add or delete points to create other shapes. So in this way, you can start with a basic shape and then just modify it with the pen tool. It might be faster to do that than to create these shapes with the pen tool by itself. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. Yes, and don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.